Shalom Rastafari, this is Nabah Bait, Line of Judah Society, HSI, Hala Selassie I, University, Universal, Yosef Kahulum Belai. Mm-hmm. Kata Holos, if you go to the Greek. Uh, the, the Greek. Mm-hmm. Above all, right? Above all. Okay, so the first four methods of practicing reading the text. Now, we've touched on some of the basics here in what we call the HSIU, the MHARC 101, right? So we're on page 12, but just so you know what we're looking at, if you're just tuning in right here, what we're looking at, this is what we're looking at right here. We practiced, gave a sample of it going through the Amharic or the, or the Ethiopic around here, all right? So now we're on page 12, right? Let's scroll through to page 12, all right? And we have three different types of courses, but the basic foundational course is the Nabab Bait, right, is the house of reading. So it says that the four methods, the first one is Mekadim, right, the Mekadim, which is literally the forward. Now, if I'm correct, I think that they had Mekadim already as well. So we saw that the Mekadim should be the Mekadim of His Majesty's um, uh, revised Amharic Bible, the authorized Bible which um, you might know in its English translation as um, um, the July 23, 1961 um, word sound utterance of Kedamawi Haile Shalase or Haile Shalase the first is um, Earth Day you could say July 23, 1961 where he speaks on the revised Amharic Bible so if you look up on the internet the utterance of speech of His Majesty, revised and hard Bible, you'll find the the, tur, the the Turgum, right, the translation in in English. But here, firstly, is to pronounce every letter of the word, pointing at each letter. Next, repeating this pronunciation exercise on the same text several times, right? That's the first part. So the, the, there's one, Mekdem, two, Ge'ez, three, Word, Nebab, Fourth is Kum Nabab, right? So that's four. One, two, three, four, square, right? The cross, you can see it. Or three sixties, circle and square just being different in shape. You understand? Not in mathematics. Remember, the universe is digital. You understand? So, and it moves on word, right? It moves on word. This is why in this text right here, from this uh, Torah portion, which is the 47th Torah portion, or what we know in the Hebrew as Arai, which is Revelation or Bamarinya, in the Amharic as as Ineho, and I, I'll teach on the difference between that from Old Testament. The Old Testament is a New Testament concealed. So in the New Testament concealed, it was the vision, right? It was the vision. See this vision. In the New Testament, Ineho, Ineho doesn't mean just behold. If you look it up and go to the Gutters, and that whole mean behold, look and see, sight. Here he is, as in Nehuat. In Nehuat is look and sight, here she is. So it's behold, but behold, there is a person. You understand? There is the person of Yeshua is revealed. So in the Old Testament, they had the veil. So it was a Rai, right? There was a Rai. There needed to be that revelation. You understand? Of the Son. And now in these latter days and times of the Father, Abba Kedus bearing witness to the Son, bearing witness to the Moshiach, to the Bain Ha Elohim Hayim, right? Or Christos Welder Egezi Abiher, the Son of the Living God. Hiyao Egezi Abiherin, all right? And this is from um, Estefanos or Stephen. Marley, because if I, if I say Estefanos, I pronounce his name right. If I don't, I say Stephen, but it's really Stephen, right? Stephen, Estefanos Marley. This is his album, uh, Rai, Revelation, The Root of Life. And notice the uh, Lali Bella, Lali Bella, like in the um, the um, liturgy that we publish. It has the Lali Bella, you know what I'm saying? Lali Bella, Ali Bella, Lali Bella, uh, Mescal, which is the Ethiopic. Uh, tree of life, if you look at it. It's the true um, Kabbalah. The true Kabbalah is only in Yeshua. You know what I'm saying? The other one leads you 
you're going to receive something that you don't really want because remember what, what the word says right here, that he has put before us blessing and curses. So turn your Bibles, if you have your Bibles, to um, Deuteronomy chapter uh, 11, verse 26. Right, and if you have them hard, or if you go to pause this, if you have uh, you know internet, go Hala Selassie Bible, click on that first link, the Bible dot org finds forward slash um, um, Amharic, and then you can click on this as well. All right, but let's just practice the Mekdim. Right, let's go over what the Mekdim is again, and here it says in the Mekdim, which is the forward, forward, ever, backward, never pronouncing every letter of the word, pointing to each letter. Repeat that first, pronouncing every letter of the word, every fidel, right? Repeating this pronunciation exercise on the same text several times. Bizu tebazu, be fruitful in it. Multiply the repetition, all right? So here, verse of Kutel Haya Sidis, and then Milo, practicing Mekdem, I, ne, ho. And they're going to just this part. I, ne, ho. I, ne, za, re. De, fi, ta, chi, hu. De, re, ke, te, ne, na. Me, r, g, n, n, a, no, r, l, h, u. And they're going to, e, n, h, o, e, n, z, r, d, f, t, ch, h, u, d, r, Ka t n na ma r g n n a no ra le hu. All right. Now repeating that several times. That's the first level of Nabah bait. That's the first level of Nabah bait right there. You could go to Genesis. You understand and begin with Genesis. You understand or any particular text or the daily. Daily Mazmur Dawi, the daily Psalms. Try it a verse. You understand? But first, practice the Fidel. You understand? Per first, practice the Fidel. We have the Mahard Bible homeschooling with I and I, sister wife, I and I, sister Hitachin, Hitachin, Ozero, uh, Tehitna, Gurma Asfa, a native speaker, very beautiful speaker, clear. You understand? I know the women sometimes are clearer than the men. You understand? If they are learnt. Yovas, but be that as it may, we have those available free. You can go to our website. You can download them. You can order a copy for a DVD. You can see the letters on the screen. You can use it on your mobile device. Put it on your phone. You can practice it. You understand? God has blessed us with this technology and this time of information going to and fro, and I and I knowledge of the King of Kings and His Christ being increased all right so now let's let's try to go go through this one sentence right here right next is the beginning of reading so that's the forward that's not really reading there that's the mechadem right that's the mechadem so ones who want to receive a certificate you understand are those who feel that they are ready and will seek to um set about the structures uh, you know for i and i to be able to because we need more fidel teachers out there of the Fidel for the different um, uh, congregations or communities, common unities of Rastafari. Yehovah. So if you're inclined to this, keep the faith because Amen be Yeshua's name. Amen be Christos name. Right? The faithful and true witness. And remember, it's, a, it's the gift of Abba, Father, in and through Yeshua HaMoshiach. The gift of languages. Remember Pentecost, right? Shavuot, right? Uh, and this is what's so interesting because in Pentecost, those cloven tongues came upon the Hawariyat that were gathered in the upper room, and they all began to speak and hear uh, each other in their own language. This was the gift of tongues, not no blah, 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 no jibber-jabber or whatever, but it was real, they're real languages, 
the languages of the diaspora of the Beta Israel. And we know the Ethiopian eunuch, if he wasn't there, then he heard about what had went on there. And he was reading the prophet Yeshayahu or Esaias, the prophet Isaiah, at that very portion. And you know that from Acts of the Apostles, chapter 8. And part of our Shema is chapter 8, verse 37. Make a note of that because in a lot of Bibles they try to remove the Ethiopian eunuch's testimony. So we have to recognize this spiritual warfare and this Illuminati ritual of killing the king in order to cause chaos, killing the father, you understand, know, destroying the number one. You understand, know, destroying that number one, destroying that order. You see that number one like in the Ethiopic looks just like that, right? The Shema looks just like that. You understand know, that left hand and the right hand is our sword, and the sword is the word of God, and the word of God is the Metzhaf Kedu, so contained in the Metzhaf Kedu. So when we take that Shema, it's not as others do with their right hand. We take it, we signal with our left, and we hold our sword in our right as soldiers in Jah's army. All right? So next is the, is the beginning of reading. Now, in this context, Gutiz means first. So this is where the real reading starts in the Nabar Beit. You understand? So there's that basic foundation of learning the Fidel's and becoming familiar with it. Don't be scared. Don't get scared. Don't think it's too hard. Don't ask me how long it took me. If I say, well, I've been doing this for 20 years, you think, oh, i got to be doing this for 20 years. Because we, uh, we see a lot of the brothers and sisters. Wow, I'm, I'm so happy I have the joy of Yeshua. Otherwise, I might feel like a lot of people without the spirit, they feel jealous. But I'm so happy. I'm like, wow, they're getting it in such a shorter amount of time. That is the work of the Menfesic Edus. All right, so good, uh, secondarily, here the student attempts, right? Here the student, let's raise this up a little bit. Here the student attempts, right? Right? Here the student or the Dekamez Mor, the disciple, individually attempts in chanting form to put the letters together and read them as a word, right? Secondarily, the same process is repeated for several days or even months, right? Several days. So for a season, think about it. And, and it's, a, it's a season. It's like when you plant a seed and you water it and you keep watering it and you're checking on it and you tend to it and you're praying and hoping that Jah will give the first and the latter rain. And that's when he gives that rain. That's the spiritual barakat. That's the blessing. But you first have to, you know, you first have to turn up the soil. You know what I'm saying? You first have to turn up the soil. So in turning up the soil, we had to go over certain things that are, made some people feel offended, you know, about Rastafari, the half-stepping, or this or that, and so forth and so on. But those who have received it recognize how important it is because we get out of inertia, and then we get into that true, that true um, 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 physics, force and form of Hila Selassie, force and form, higher physics, the spiritual we get, we get on the spiritual level. All right, so here we're going to just practice over this just to give you a, a quick form of this. Because we've, we, we've touched on this with some of the brothers and sisters, but we want to put this forward for, 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 for everyone else who's willing to receive, right? The, the faithful Hebrews, the ethnic Hebrews, blacks, you understand, as well as among the Gentiles, the Asians, the Europeans, all who have faith in, in, in Jah and Joshua receive. Receive. Eat as much as convenient for you. Don't gorge it now. Now, 26. Okay, once again, we first began off the mech then, which was Ineho. Right? Ineho. Ineho. Now, let's put it together. Ineho. Ineho. Some say Ineho, but Ineho. 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 Right? Ineho. Begina. Ine. 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 I. Inne, I, right? The I, or I, inne. So, inne, put it together, inne. Next word, zare, 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 right? Next, be fi ta chi hu. Be fi ta chi hu. Be fi ta chi Now, some might say at first, be fi ta chi hu. Actually, uh, uh, fluent um Kaltafa Etopiawianoch, they would say Befitachu. 
Bethy taught you. Bethy taught you. Look now. Not Bethy taught you who. You know what I'm saying? Now, I don't want to get into it on this word right here. I see something here, like here it says, Yeah, I'm la kachu hu ne. Yeah, I'm la kachu hun. Chuhun. That's when it's when there's another fidel behind it, then it is then it, it, it's expressed in a little different way. But those things, even if you're saying that fita chuhu, lick no. You understand? At that basic level, just tell ones, Well, I'm in the bar bait. You know what I'm still in the bar bait. You know what I'm So I'm just a child. I'm going to send one of these little ones now. Right? Befi tachu hu. Befi tachu. Befi tachu. Befi tachu hu. Befi tachu. Next word. Bereketi nina. Bereketi nina. Bereketi nina. Right? Bereketi nina. Bereketi nina. So then you begin to work with the flow. You understand? But the, but don't skip a step, otherwise you you trip and you don't want to bust your lip. All right. Next word is marigemene. 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 Right. Marigemene. Not really marigemene, but marigemene. Some things you're gonna pick up as you go along. So even myself right now. Sometimes the more fluent ones give me little pointers on my flowetry. You know, over saying on how I'm flowing, and I give thanks. At first, actually, I didn't. I have to admit, I didn't want nobody to tell. I was like, I got this. I got. You can't tell me nothing. You know, over saying. So I know some of y'all might be like that too. You know, over saying. But over saying, you know, practice makes perfect. Marigemen, right? Next word. Anoralehu. Anoralehu. Remember who at the end? Anoralehu. Putting it together? Anoralo. 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 Right? So now we, that's a sample of what we have here on page 12 of the HSIU. Right? And Hark 101 that you can download from www.lojsociety.org. You can go click on the, the study tab and you'll find the HSIU there and this is page 12 right so next right? remember this is a repeat over each one of these stages repeated many times you could probably do some of these the, the more faith and confidence you have and more obedience in the discipline of the teaching you know what I'm saying you'll find that your progress will improve you know what I'm saying but 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 love it you know what I'm saying I and I is loving it you understand? We're loving this of the King of Kings, right? His gifts, right? And the gift of tongues is a gift. Not just that I have, but we all are to have. That's why Paul Hawadi Apollo says, I wish all of you spoke with tongues. You understand? But prophecy is more over. So prophecy brings us to that revelation. So we recognize that revelation, receive that revelation. We in that whole, we behold him. We behold the son, Yeshua HaMoshiach. You understand? And we pray for the spirit. We receive that Holy Spirit. You understand? If it's a female egg. But that's a little, a little pun there to some of my fellow um, Ethiopia. Right? But thirdly, Kutera Shoas, we we read it. Word, 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 we read it. Word, 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 ne babe. Word ne bab. Extended reading. What happens here? The pupil, the decam is more, learns to make more care or take more care. You could take more care on words that must be read together. Now, remember, first it's the fidel. Right? Then it's the word. Now it's the words that must be read together. The accents, learning and picking up the accents and the pauses, the same pauses, and the hard or the soft pronunciations of the syllables. So we talk about there's the soft eh, ah, eh, ah. There's the te, te. You understand? There's the se, se. You know what I mean? There's the Ha, and there's the ha, and there's the ha. You know what I mean? Those will be picked up as one goes along and one practice and perfects. Now, this step is important. So the pupil, the dekamizmor, 
right, or the disciple, Dek Amazmor individual, Dek Amazmor, spends more time on it. So it's the word Nabab, the word Nabab that we must spend more time on. Because that's when we now start to take, let's let let Misale take these words, right, and, and, and get more of the accents, the hard and the soft sounds, like, Ineho, Ine Zare de Fitachu. And so saying, De Fitachu, who? Right? Barakatinina, Margemin Anoralo, instead of Anorale, who? You know what I'm saying? So those little tweaks right there is what takes place in the word Nibab. The word Nibab, which is extended reading. You know what I'm saying? And extended reading is, can be on that verse, you know what I'm saying? Or it can be on that portion right there, or a couple of verses. What's very good to practice is the um, Abuna Zebe Samayat, or um, the Semayat Yemitsunor Rabata Chinhoi, or the Our Father Prayer, or some of the prayers that we have in the Nibab Beit. Practice on some of those prayers there. You know what I'm saying? But this, this is, this is the, 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 the like syllabus, the overview. This is the structure of learning. You understand from our ancient Rutua Hymenot, Tuahedo Beta Christian, right? The Ethiopia we are not, right? In other words, of the Ethiopia, right? So the fourthly, and we're going to pause after this right here, but take it up to, to, to Kutel Arat, number four, is the Kum the Kum Nebab, the Kum Nebab, right? And this is literally complete reading or like standing, right? More like standing, right? Like raised up, like erect in the sense, with upright, you know, but the, the standing reading, you know, on, on that level, right? Now, here the student, or the Dek Amesmur, right, practices reading at a very lively pace, but without mistakes. And even find ourselves, sometimes, you know, we get excited and everything, but we have to keep that discipline. And sometimes we make mistakes, but keep practicing, right, reading at a lively pace without mistakes. See, sometimes I know some of the brothers and sisters are so eager to, say, impress I, you know what I'm saying, or impress one, or some teachers might be dragging you up instead of growing you up, you know what I'm saying, so pulling you along instead of encouraging you at each step. You know what I'm saying? That you're going to rush to this particular level and you'll make a whole lot of mistakes and one will be easily offended and stumble out of the way. You know what I'm saying? In this process of study and teaching and teaching others, even a little bit that we have known, we have learned those things by study and by also teaching others. Sometimes we want them too much to just say stuff because we said it and sometimes we'll just say what we hear, but we don't have a firm foundation. So, you know... um, and, 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 and it's important to have a firm foundation. So the Qum Nabab is very important. Now, the four steps are repeatedly drilled on the same text. This is important. Now, for, for the purpose of here, we say Fidel Hawariya, the Hawariya, Fidel Hawariya. You know what I'm saying? Like, Fidel, how are you? You know, Fidel Hawariya, right, on that particular text from, from the ancient church. Now, we said we'll use the Mechdom of His Majesty, and on practice, you can use whatever text that you have before you. You understand? You should use whatever text, because we're not going to say we always use this text. No, sometimes we experiment on new text. You understand? This is how we grew, and this is how the Holy Spirit said we should show others and, and help others. You understand? Um, that's grace and truth, right? That's grace and truth, right? But that these laws need to be overstood. You understand? These laws, there's certain basic spiritual laws right here. That's why I said the four steps are repeatedly drilled on the same text. So when we look at this text in this uh, 47th portion, known in the Hebrew as Re'e, 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 or Bamarinya as Ra'e, Ra'i, right? And in the words Re'e, Re'e in the Hebrew, let's just pull that page up. There's some of our study notes that we put together so we can better demonstrate this right here. You can see this Rastafari Sabbath, Sabbath or Sabbath, Shabbat, Sabbatical Studies, RSS, number 47. And you see this is ra e ye. Then coming the, um, from right to left, we have re a 
ha re a re a re a now re a the hebrew is to see but in the mark is the vision old testament it was the vision that they were to look for right now in the new testament neho behold here he is you understand here he is the king of kings and his christ now we went through this remember it's revelation we got this from the hard dictionary online it's an interesting site learn how to operate it right the rai uh, rai means revelation right then we have um a rai also means vision you see that right there now interesting rai means mission the line of judah what mission the mission the mission is the vision fulfilling the vision and the vision is by way of revelation and this is about rastafari revelation revelation because revelation reveals the truth right but now what about illusion and look what it says for illusion yeah wo she te ra e ye ye yo shet some say ye wo shet yes or yo shet the contract is like yo yo shet but yo shet rai that means of ye wo shet of a lie wo shetam wo shetam like liar or lie right ye wo shet a lying vision a lying vision is an illusion now think about that in some of the teachings that we've touched on supernatural some say it's a false concept and then they lie on his majesty wo shet wo shetam you understand wo shet wo shetam right then if we look at some of the related words right here down here at the bottom click below they said for related searches and when you go to them hard dictionary online you can check this out for yourself here it has a re a r y a a r y a a r y a is a model now when you break that word not break that word down but when you um study that word right and you and you and you and you and you go to its basic building blocks and then build up on from the roots the root at the root of this particular word here is really orit orit could orit is a model that's why in the hebrew they say moedim the holy days are moedim moedim are really um like practices or exercises in that sense you understand practices right because he said he will spare his people because we will be doing his will while others are out partying and doing all kind of crazy stuff we will be doing his will in spirit and in truth and he protects us his angels protect us because they're really our angels but that's another that's another lesson right there ideology two words for ideology spelled a little bit different this is r a y o t e a l e m r a y o t e a l e m r a y o t e a l e m in other words one's vision of the alam one's vision of the world is their ideology right then they spell it like this r a y o t e a l e m the r a y o t e the r a y o t e the riyota as we we can say riyota but that's that's ignoring the pauses riyota 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 all riyota all them as you do it practice slow you get it to go, come fast and you can say it with full force of one's spirit right then the visionary is a bale bale ra ye bale rai bale rai one who has bale bal mean own or have or possess right they worship the bal and they worship the ownership society trying to own all of god's things now they own the water and then they want to own the air then they want to own your soul you know what i mean you know what i'm saying it's the, it's a wrong use a misapplication of that principle we only own it because jah has given it to us you know sent in and through his beloved son so we have to recognize there's an order not that they own them because they have money and they they can exploit people so that's a wrong ball there that's a false ball a false husband dream ship of the earth bala rai is one who has vision is a visionary then we have his tourist attraction te re e ye te te re e it te re e it right te re e it is a tourist attraction it's interesting too because it could also be a scene like a scene in the movie or a scene in the play 
right? Then we have uh, Bala Arai again, it's, it's, it's repeated, same here. Then we have Tourist Attraction. Then we have Yoshet Arai, an illusion. Then we have Aude Arai, Aude Arai, which is the exhibition. Aude is like to make a circuit, like the heavens, like in the book of Aude Nagisht. Nagisht. It speaks about Nibiru, the Kokeb, Planet X, Black Star, Small Dwarf Star, whatever they want to call it, is spoken of. But basically the word Aude, Aude is a circuit. Just like we're going through our Aude Orit. The Aude Orit is the circle of the Torah portion, readings and feedings. And then we put this here, if you look up in Neho, it, it means behold, but there's a deeper meaning, and that is behold here he is. Like, here it is, here it is, you know what I mean? And we know that in spirit because we say that a lot. Here it is, you know. You know, it is what it is. Here it is. You know what I'm saying? So, my brothers and sisters, it's a little brief in the Bob Bait. You understand? A little brief in the Bob Bait and text study and, and reading that's been inspired about this particular Torah portion that um, Estefanos Marle, right? Ras Estefanos or Stefan. Uh, Marley put on his latest album cover, Arai, right? And see the connection there, you understand, with this particular Torah portion. And start to practice, brothers and sisters. I hope we can establish some yeshivas. You understand? Yeshiva means like to sit down, to be enthroned. You understand? To be enthroned, but sitting. You understand? Sitting. You understand? Not running around, as we'll be running around. Everybody's running around. You understand, but to sit, to rest, you understand, so that you can receive the Holy Spirit. You can receive the caress, the caress, the caressing of Christ and putting on Christ. So um, this document, too, please download the LOJS, Lion Jew Society, New Millennium um, College Courses, right? And every yeshiva, every Bible study is, is part of the college. It's part of this universal city of His Imperial Majesty. All right, Kahulum Belai, Kataholos. Yes, we're taking it. You know, we're taking it. It's ours. Jehovah. So, right here, this is the 47th, once again, right here in that hole. Right? And just to give you this overview, spend the time just reading it. You know, don't worry about overstanding everything at first. As Matthew said, life is like a theater, like Tariyit. It's like a theater. Like, you know what I mean? One must, it's like a scene or something, like a play. One mustn't try to understand it all at once, otherwise it's no longer amusing. Well, why, why does this message is amusing? Because the joy of the Lord, of Jah, of Yahweh, of Yahweh, is our strength. The joy of Yeshua is I and I's strength. So the reading for this week, this Torah portion, this is Shabbat, this Senbet Ken, is Deuteronomy 11, 26 to 16 and 17 first reading second reading Isaiah 54 11 to Isaiah 55 and 5 and the New Testament reading right the New Testament reading the Hadith Kidan or the Berit Chadasha in the Hebrew is John chapter 7 verses 37 to verse 52 and first John chapter 4 verses 1 to 6 so Shalom, Aras, Tefari, and we pray the King of Kings, our Father, in the name of Getachin Ahmed, Hanatachin Yesus Christos, that you may be worthy to receive your sin, and when I say worthy, that you will find yourself worthy, that you will receive it freely, your sin, this grace and this truth of the King of Kings and his Christ. Shalom, Aras, Tessa Rick.